Yes, that has been the fantastic uh, basket in the um, the uh, morning mist just then, and the basket in the wind. Uh, both fantastic artists and fantastic motives. Now let's go and discuss everything in today's in today's uh, radio station. Uh, so yeah. Welcome, welcome to the Re Nation Station, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic time. It is gorgeous weather outside, so uh, hopefully you guys can tag along and see if you can enjoy anything I have to say today. So today's topics will be on the uh, mostly anticipated PlayStation Five, everything. In the world of PS5, uh, the TV and movies, and the final one, random bitter news. So make sure you stick around for everything we are discussing today. Um, every radio station will be three top three like main talking points every day. So make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I upload daily fantastic content, as well as various of other social media. Now that's all out the way, let's begin. So, the PlayStation 5. Now, we have seen the controller, and we have seen one or two games revealed for the game console. But, the games I want to see, uh, another Sim, not Sim City, but like another city builder, like City Skylines number two. I want to see stuff like simulation games. I want to see, and I cannot wait to uh, to find out what they have, including, of course, the mostly anticipating Crash Bandicoot video game on PS Five. That's not not uh, that's not like revealed or anything yet, but I am sure that Sony will not let it drop, and they would make sure Crash Bandicoot returns as a launch title. So yeah, gonna be fantastic to uh, to play said console in uh, in a world where. Everything is happening, so yeah, I, I think that the games for PS5 are going to be next to nothing. They are going to be top dog. They are going to be the best, freshest, spanking new games on the market. And I'll tell you for why. Because obviously there's a lot of games coming out. For PS4 as well as PS5. And obviously. With the lack of games. Announced for said. Console. Xbox. Uh, Sony have got the upper hand. But with Xbox. They revealed their own console. 
the controller and a bunch of games but they're not first party games so yes it's uh, going to be interesting what the uh, outcome comes in terms of the sales but overall I'm always a Sony fan I'm a, I owned every single Sony PlayStation console I own the PSP I own the PS1 2 3 4 and I'm going to get PS5 which is fantastic news because I cannot wait to start going on the console and see what the graphics have to offer now the reveal event is supposed to be happening sometime in June we all don't know when but make sure you check on my social media of course to find out the latest on that but overall it's going to be interesting to find out how they would approach the reveal event because it's all the eyes in the world will be watching because no one's seen the console yet they only seen the controller so if the console is anything like the controller I expect Sony to break world records and break loads of fans minds including the world of the internet because the internet will explode by the reveal alone of the PS5 and yeah it's going to be interesting to find out overall what the picture will be but the war with Xbox I don't think I don't think that will uh, I don't think that will help so that will help Xbox because let's be fair Sony is a fantastic enterprise in terms of home entertainment and they are top dog in the most biggest way possible and that has been the uh, PlayStation segment of the show the next segment is gonna be uh, TV and film <laughs>
Yes, that has been, of course, the uh, the nice to you vibe tracks. Um, these majority of these tracks will be from YouTube themselves. So thank you, YouTube, for supplying the tracks. And uh, yeah, so the next segment we are going to be discussing, like I said before, it is going to be the TV and film. Uh, we have yet to uh, have enough chatting for TV and film, but I will make sure to give you guys a good discussion. So, TV and film. So, in recent news, the BBC have revealed Top Gear Andy Stenders uh, to return to filming in June, July time, which is going to be fantastic because obviously as if you don't know me I love soaps and I love Top Gear so yes these are the two biggest programs I like on telly and uh, it's fantastic it is because obviously things at the moment may seem a bit uh, a bit weird but when standards and top gear come back it'll all be sorted <laughs> um because obviously the actors and actresses will uh, have to quarantine and all that so yeah it's gonna be awesome to uh, finally get some get some shows on the telly because not much is on the telly let's be fair the next thing we like to discuss is a brand new upcoming scream five and big news for Scream, if you're a Scream fan, uh, they are going to be bringing back the characters, like Courtney Cox's character and various of others, which is fantastic. And I cannot wait to see Scream 5. I watched every single Scream back in the day, and I loved it. I also loved Scary Movie. Now, I gotta tell you all, Scary Movie is returning. It's coming back, Scary Movie. And I cannot wait for Scary Movie to return. But will the same actress, you know, Cindy, or whatever her name was, uh, will she come back? Who knows? But yeah, so Scream and Scary Movie are set to return. And in Scream 5, all the old characters are returning as well, which is fantastic news. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic news because obviously it is big news in the world of... Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be big news for, for everyone in theatre really because... In uh, in cinemas now, in UK cinemas, they have banned Universal movies. And I don't know why, but they have banned movies such as the new Fast and Furious and basically the big name money movies, like the blockbuster ones, they are banning from the cinemas in the UK when they return. I don't know why, but it's going to be interesting to see what films turn out at the cinema. So the uh, that is being that. The next one is going to be The Matrix. So yeah, The Matrix 4 is coming back for revenge, even though the characters Neo died, but they're going to bring him back nonetheless, and it's going to be fantastic to uh, to figure out what is going to be happening. Uh, while we take a short break, here is some other stuff.
Yes, that is Don't Change a Thing. Fantastic song, of course. And yeah, let's continue on with our little movie chat while we have a bit of music at the background, of course. So, yeah, I know, I know, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's discuss the uh, the Matrix 4, I was saying. Um, so, the Matrix 4 is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait. Uh, Matrix 4, and there was a, there's going to be a new John Wick. I love that. And anything Keanu Reeves is in. Because his movies are amazing. But some people don't think so. So, yeah. But, of all, Trinity and Neo are returning. Morpheus ain't returning though. But another character is bringing him back. But a younger version of Morpheus. Um, which I hate, personally. Because it's like taking Vin Diesel out of Fast and Furious. And replacing him with someone like, I don't know. Like. Chris Hemsworth or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic to at least finally have a Matrix in 2020. Or at least 2021. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. I love Matrix for all my heart. And I only wish the best for them because I love Matrix. Um, not many do. I don't know why, but that's just me. <laughs> so uh, the next segment will be uh, random news. So with this said, enjoy the next brand new song. Uh, where's the uh, list? It is here. So, here is. Uh, across the room. Yes, we are back for the attack here. Uh, so, in today's uh, in uh, today's final segment, we are going to be discussing all the uh, all the things we can, and it's going to be fantastic. So, uh, sit back and enjoy, really. And yeah, so. Uh, it's going to be uh, fantastical. So, 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 so. Let's uh, discuss. Let's discuss the next and final bit of the segment today. And that is random news. So, the f first bit of news in the world of technology is gonna be the iPhone 12 with no AirPods. Now, no AirPods is gonna be a fantastic thing to discover, but surprisingly, no AirPods with the iPhone 12. 
Now the iPhone 12 have been recently leaked, the pictures and all that. It's just the same as any iPhone really. There's so much Apple can do with iPhones nowadays, unless they go full on techy and just make a whole, make all the uh, or the screen invisible. But overall, yeah. No AirPods, but the iPhone 12. If you are looking to buy an iPhone 12. The next bit of news is going to be the world of esports and Formula One. Now, no, 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 in full force at the moment and three brand new drivers and sports stars have joined the Grand Prix for Monaco so 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 these are the Formula 1 Mercedes drivers of Valtteri Bottas and Esteban Ocon Ocon is a Renault driver, but he is a Mercedes reserve driver as well. And they are officially entered the eSports Formula 1 Monaco Virtual Grand Prix. And that is going to be awesome. But one other is coming, and it is the likes of Pierre Emerick or Bamiang, the Arsenal striker joining the F1 grid as well. Recently we have seen the likes of Kern Aguero and others join up and this time we have got an Arsenal great. We have got Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and that's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to see what he can do on the grid. And yeah, it was interesting. It's interesting the virtual Grand Prix in the sense that uh, they get like all most the F1 real world stars, and they get celebrity stars to race in it. So we like this year we had the likes of like I said before, Ken Aguero, but not just him. We had the likes of Ben Stokes. We had others and not just Formula 1 but like Formula E and all that juicy jazz and even Sky F1 commentators so like not Martin Brundle but like Johnny Herbert and Anthony Davidson and even Jensen Button himself (laughs) so overall it is a fantastic virtual Grand Prix series and I suggest you watch it every Sunday well, not every Sunday, but whenever a real world F1 Grand Prix would have been, that's when the virtual Grand Prix is. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, the final bit of news, and this is concerning the weather, because I am a fanatical with everything climate climate change and weather. So, yeah, uh, weather-wise, there has been a huge cyclone tearing itself into Bangladesh and India, killing 22 people in the process. Now, cyclones are very dangerous. Uh, They can expand massively, and it's it's, it's weird because... because such weather events can destroy towns and cities and yes it's it's pretty frightening if one goes towards you but in the UK we're safe from cyclones and hurricanes and all that luckily and uh, so yeah we are pretty cool Um, here is the report here on the latest of the uh, cyclone that hit Bangladesh and eastern India so, at least 22 people died as the fiercest, as the fiercest, so that's the worst cyclone to hit parts of Bangladesh and eastern India. 
the century sent trees flying and flattened houses with millions crammed into shelters despite the risk of coronavirus. Uh, the millions were left without power after cyclone anthem packing winds of around 150 kilometers per hour that's 95 miles per hour carried away electric electricity pylons walls and roofs uh, residents of the Indian city of Kolkata the capital of the hard hit West Bengal state awoke to flooded streets with the car's window deep in water and television footage showed the airport inundated so yeah pretty uh, pretty wild weather out there but in the UK it's all like going to be fantastic uh, the greatest heat we're going to get is up to 28 degrees in London but where I am in South Wales it's going to be fantastic it's going to be like 22 23 degrees every day now like throughout next week as well maybe get a touch of rain but that's about it really so yes it's going to be a fantastic time make sure you all stay safe guys and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for another renation station but for that make sure you show your love and support by subscribing liking sharing and commenting on all social media but mainly on youtube with that said in mind thank you all for watching and goodbye